Alright, so, continuing on with the Adventure Time steak reviews, and, yeah, it's been pretty good. I do know that, yes, they're... The episodes have been leaked online in all eight episodes, but I decided, you know, for the people who have not seen the episodes and haven't seen the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, haven't seen the episodes or don't want to be, you know, spoiled early, um, yeah, this is for you. This is the review for those people. Anyway, so this episode continues and we discover more about the vampires that are, that were inside of Marceline. They were kind of like her familiars. And now they have escaped. They have escaped, and now they're trying to carve up their own kingdoms, in a sense. <laughs> and through it, we see that all these vampires, even though we had the Vampire King, who is, like, uber-powerful, apparently... <laughs> um, he... All the vampires are now, you know... It looks like Marceline so far, looks like she's going to have to become a vampire over again. But we do see that she, <laughs> you know, she does does have to still deal with mul uh, morality, and she's event she has to literally become the thing she hates all over again. <laughs> literally. But then again, you know, he, uh, I'm starting to see from these flashbacks that um, the Vampire King was the one who turned her into a full-on vampire. For the other one, she just stole all their powers. <laughs> She just ate. She just ate their souls and consumed them, and stole their power. So that could be it. Also, I kind of got a Cinnabite kind of vibe from. Yeah, I just kind of got a Cinnabite vibe from all the vampires together, or you know, kind of like the the vampires in Helsing. Also, speaking of going back to another Helsing mention, have I ever talked about how Peppermint Butler reminds me of Walter from Helsing? I can't be the only one who's like, he's smart, he's articulate, he's got a very evil dark side, and you don't really know who he's playing for, but he is extremely loyal to Integra, but you kind of get the sense that he's playing his own game at the same time. He is ver he's, he's, pet he's a candy version of Walter, let's admit it. He is Wal uh, This dude must have been based off of Walter from Helsing. <laughs> In fact, when he was doling out the weapons for everybody... I kind of got the sense that he was going to break out the Harkonnen or the Jackal. <laughs> yeah. So, the first part was nothing more than Marceline killing the floating vampire, and the second episode deals with her trying to rescue Simon from Marceline. We also get more of a backstory of what happened to Simon. She served the Empress, as she's called, the Empress Eyes, who has uh, invisibility as well as hypnotism. And, yeah, she, you know, Simon served her for a short time, and it's kind of alluded to that she, she was one of the reasons why he went mad. Interesting. And we also get to see why Marceline took up the whole vampire hunting thing, which was actually kind of cool. And heartbreaking at the same time. So the more, we, you know, Marceline starts killing off these vampires, the more I think we're going to see more of her, you know, backstory come to life, and her eventually becoming the thing she hates all over again. But I did notice one thing in this story that, you know, really, um, that kind of made me go, hmm, is that she feels herself aging. She said she feels herself aging. And it kind of makes me wonder, okay, how fast are you aging, Marceline? How, because you are technically 9,019 years, yeah, she's over a thousand years old, and... You know, she still ate. You know, she still needs to eat. You know, all that aging's got to come up with her. There's the word I was looking for. Sorry, I got a little my uh, train of thought derailed. But yeah, her her uh, her aging's probably catching up to her. Probably at a rapid pace. I would not be surprised as the series went on. Is that we see like she's getting older at a rapid pace. But yeah, um, we do get to see her her connection with Simon all over again, which is heartbreaking, because I always feel bad for Simon. I really do. For the, I feel bad for the Ice King. When we, you, you know, when everyone thought, oh, he's just a freak of nature with, you know, he's just weird, and then that Christmas episode showed up, and we all really got punched in the feels. <laughs> yeah, and it's been just kind of like, with everything else, you know, you know, Ice King is funny, but at the same time, he's tragically funny. It's like Pagliacci with him. He's like, yeah, he's the he's Mr. Freeze and Pagliacci put together. <laughs> yeah. 
So not much more I can say about this other than really excited to see where the rest of this series is going to go, especially with the next few vampires uh, that are coming up. And, yeah. Oh, so what did you guys think? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Uh, just comment below, let me know. And once again, hope you all enjoyed this review, albeit a quick one, but I will see you guys later.